Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to uh, Bionicle, my new the online game. Kind of a wordy title, but suffice to say. Uh, I'm on the left side of the screen this time because there's a, uh, there's a menu up here. And I wanted to make sure that people could see me click it. So um, uh, Bionicle's been canceled for like about 12 years about. So I decided that I would fill people in on what it is. Uh, this is Lego Technic. It's a building system. This screenshot is from, I think, Brick Experimentation Channel. It just shows that they have gears. They do gears. You know, they work like that. That's what they do. Um, and Lego is starting to branch out in the 90s and not just make blocks. And they started to work on some other ideas. These things called slicers, uh, which was their new Technic imprint. And the idea was that you would combine action figures in Lego and make like a larger Lego piece that had a humanoid shape that you could like play with. Um, the designs are okay. This is a different one. Uh, and they attempted to have lore. This is what the planet that they all lived on looked like. Little, little strange, but you can even see uh, in Bionicle, there are six elements uh, six primary ones, and you can see that they're kind of pretty much, they're very similar here. There's green, which in Bionicle was air, fire, water, ice, underground, rock, and shadow. Uh, but this is a more typical Bionicle. This is Takua. This is the guy we play as in the game. Um, but yeah, Bionicle was another like step forward in making action figures and Lego combine. And it saved uh, Lego from bankruptcy in the 90s. Um, and I am an avid fan and collector of Bionicles and have been basically all my life. Uh, I recently went to my dad's house and scored some fresh new ones, uh, which I'm very, very pleased about. And by fresh new ones, I mean things that I've had for decades to begin with. But yeah, this is 2001. This thing, this right here is an original from 01, and I still have it. Um, but yeah, another idea with Bionicle was that it was going to be a very like multimedia project. Um, so there are, of course, Bionicle books, Bionicle comics. Um, there are four movies. Uh, there was going to be a video game about year one. Didn't pan out that way. Um, but we got this in addition or instead of. Uh, and I'll talk about that more. But you've longtime viewers of the channel have probably heard me talk about Bionicle before because I love it. All right. So um, this was a game released really early in Bionicle's life cycle. Um, and it just... You get to explore around the island, which is called Mata Nui, and do it. So yeah, uh, this is one of these cans. Uh, part of the early lore thing was like, hey, kids just get the cans and then throw them away, but the cans could be used for things, so why don't we put it in the story? So the lore is, all these people wash up on this beach... And, like, reassemble themselves. Uh, and these cans are how they got here. Hello. Help, help me. My village has been attacked. I believe this is Maku, if I remember her name and mask. Uh, Maku is what's called a Matoran, which is just generic villager. Uh, this is now so... I think this is the older build, where they use the word Tohunga instead. Which uh, is a loan word from... I want to say the Maori language, which the Maori people sued Lego over because they used a whole lot of loan words and borrowed a lot of the like language and concepts. And they were like, hey, you're going to name a character this. That means you have to copyright it. That's that's not cool. So there's a lot of early name change in Bionicle. And then the Maori elements start to get phased out um, until by the end, there's almost none of them. But this is this is a typical Bionicle. This is a Matoran. Um, they're affectionately called Mictoran. Because builds like this, like Takua back here, 
were released in McDonald's uh, Happy Meals, which is how I actually got one. Um, I can't find mine, but I had a little, a little green fellow who was named Kongu, uh, and he got more lore later, and he's actually on the cover of this game, which I will let's play at some point. Uh, Yetta. Will you help me? Who are you? I'm Maku of Gakuru. Yeah, later her name is spelled with a uh, CK instead of just K. Ga is a prefix that indicates that she's from the Water Tribe, and Koro just means village. Gakuru be lies between the sea and Lake Naho down the coast. It's a great village of many Matoran, and our leader is Turaga no Kama. Turaga are just wise ones, priests, elders, that sort of thing. I fear much of it has been destroyed now. Uh, what happened? I, I was away when the Rahi attack. Rahi just means beast. Uh, there's a, there's some attempts at making a conlang early on in the years. Um, and by conlang, I just mean borrowing words from the Maori language. Uh, after they were like, hey guys, let's get more original with this and work more on actually making a language instead of just borrowing words, stealing words even, from other cultures, the conlang starts to get a little more complex and, and clever, I would say. Uh, but they never go too, too hard with it. There are a few language ciphers, though, uh, and I used to be able to speak one. I know that that's not cool, that I used to be able to do something, but can't anymore, but... Anyway, Rahi attacked. When I returned, the monsters were everywhere, destroying everything in sight. Nukama and the others barricaded themselves in a hut to hide, but the Rahi broke the pump, and the hut sank beneath the waves. Ooh, a cutscene. That's a Tarakava. Yeah, this is this was something that super drew me in as a kid. Like the idea of like these are robots, you know, they they look like this. Um like Bionicle just happened to look like this. And yet they still live on this island and they have like weird cool islander culture. Uh yes, I will help you. I'm a good boy. Go to Gakoro and find Okama. She's very wise and I might have a plan for escape. I'll try to find Gali. The Ra here near the village, she's the only one who could defeat them. She's on a great quest, very far away. The only way to get to Kakakoro from here is from the sea. So you must take my boat. I'll search for the toe on foot. Good luck. Tell Nakama I'm safe. So there are four species. Matoran, who are just basic rando villagers. Toa, who are cool, powerful warriors. We haven't even seen one yet, but they come in those canisters. Um, the Toa are always my favorite. And then the Turaga, who are wise elders... The Toa have elemental power and are way, way stronger. The Turaga have a little bit of elemental power, but are about as strong as a Matoran besides. Um, yeah. They didn't animate us on there. I guess it's... Ah, well. Uh, this is the Mask of Water Breathing. It's just one of the Mask of Power. I believe it's called the Cacao. Spelled with two Ks. This is a stone that usually indicates Mata Nui. This is how they draw him. Like, um, this is how they represent him symbolically. Yeah, puzzles. Get up on in there. Oh, man. There we go. So, yeah, like, the idea of robots, like, sapient, super advanced robots who live in grass huts and fish with spears is weird and cool to me. It's one of those, like, things that, like, no one should be able to relate to this. I think uh, Nick from Planet Ripple talked about that. Um, like, this is a, a difficult-to-relate-to concept. Because, like, what kid is going to be like, I identify with a robot? who has a tribal culture, because, like, most people who had Legos, I assume, did not have, um, like, a very tribal uh, setting that they grew up in. Not to say that no one did, but I'm going to assume that most people didn't. Yeah, look, there's a little jellyfish in there that powers it. And then down here... Some louder. 
And then back here, bingo, more water. Well, I've satisfied my curiosity. Let's see, there's a thing. Here we go. I want to look at this. So you can even see that they use the Technic elements here. Like these are how these are how the gears would look. This whole thing looks like the This is Pohatu, but you can see that his torso piece looks very similar to this machine because, you know, the the idea was that these were all built in Lego. These that everything was in Lego. So we unfortunately do not have anything to help us here. But yeah, there was a, like someone talked about how like no one should be able to identify with this. It's a, it's such a weird concept. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's super scary. Well, they've got air, at least. Also, this is just a lore thing, but anyone from Gakoro has an uh, easier time breathing underwater than anyone else might. Okay, let's take a look here. Because uh, uh, I'll be honest, I have not played this in a good decade. And I really want to be a cool guy and remember everything, but it has been 10 some years. Do we ever go over here? Okay, we did. So let's... Hmm. I guess all we're doing is in this village then, huh? But yeah, you'll have to pardon me. Not as, uh, don't as remember as much as I would like. Okay, so you drag things. I wonder if I could shed some literal light on something. Is this, do you want this? Oh, that's so terrifying. Let's resurface. Take a step back here. Imagine that the stuff that I want might be over there. Hmm. Oh yes, you also have to pardon me. The mouse cursor actually isn't at the same size as the window, so uh, you might not be able to see what I'm clicking on as much as I would like. A little unfortunate. Huh? Who is that? Who's there? Hurry, my friend, you're our only hope. Mako sent me to rescue you. Mako, es Mako escaped? We were worried about her. We're trapped here underwater. The door's stuck and we can't open it. And also, well, I guess they could just swim out. If the village pumps are repaired, the hull will rise to the surface so we can escape. Uh, the Rahi smashed them and pieces fell into the water. If you can find it and put in the pump machine, it'll float us back up. If there's a light zone in my hut, it might help you see underwater. Please hurry. Hold on, I'll be back. So where is Nokama's hut? I assume that's who's talking. She's something of a mouthpiece of uh, the village. Alteraga R. It's kind of their job. <laughs> and for those watching my Salt and Sanctuary playthrough, I am still a little sick, unfortunately. Is this her? Oh, yeah, I was also going to uh, 
have shorter episodes. So um, I'm going to cut it here because I wanted to do a bunch of little short episodes. Uh, but I've been Alfred. This has been the Mata Nui Online game. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.